Hey everyone, welcome to the Crypto ZX channel. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. But now let's get right in today's topic. You know, a lot of things are happening going into the space. You guys can see Bitcoin is up 14% in the last 24 hours. Things are looking extremely bullish once again. You know, we did see a circle coming out and obviously covering the 3.3 billion dollar in usdc and we have seen usdc once again be pegged at that one dollar mark which is a positive news for the entire space and you know people are starting to understand the power of bitcoin especially after banks have been failing uh, across you know the globe and starting to see why bitcoin is really you know they its own bank you are your own bank and you own your own funds and a lot of people are starting to understand and we are seeing bitcoin go insane as this week has started looking across the board markets are looking extremely extremely bullish right now but today you guys can tell by the title of the video we will be talking about terra luna classic and see what is happening with terra luna classics price and where are we going in the immediate short term so if we're looking at the price of terra luna classic right now it is currently trading at 0 0.000133 cents it's up 6.5 percent in the last 24 hours in usd comparative but it's down about 6.7 percent in bitcoin comparative over the last 24 hours keep in mind every single altcoin right now is more likely down in btc comparative because bitcoin is outperforming the entire market right now but if we're looking at the terra luna classics price right now it is currently trading at that 133 cents mark and the market cap is currently sitting at 786 million dollars so we could be approaching the billion dollar market cap once again and the 24 hour trading volume is looking quite impressive which is currently sitting at 106 million dollars now let's get right into the analysis and see what is happening with terra luna classics price and where are we going in the immediate short term but before we do jump into that always remember that anything on this channel is not financial advice always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in cryptocurrency so if i do bring up the measuring tool for you guys you know let's see how far we are down since um you know the september high so if i bring up the measuring tool uh from the september highs you know terra luna classic is still down about 77.94 percent and if we measure it from the bottom it gives us a better understanding so we're about 3.4 x away from that specific price range and you know it's been quite some months that we have not even seen prices go back to that level especially um you know prior to the ftx collapse so you guys can see after the ftx um you know um collapse the crash that happened that impacted the entire space we have never really seen um you know terra luna classic explode towards the upside but this just shows that you know this accumulation pattern that i've been talking about on my channel for the longest time which is in between that 0.00019 cents and that 0.00014 cents mark you guys can see that this has been a massive level of support uh, for the price of terra luna classic we've mainly been trading within that range um you know after the ftx collapse but right now what we're seeing happening uh for terra luna classic is that we are below that level of resistance and um you know obviously that was a massive level of support we're currently trading below it but what we would personally um like to be seeing right now for terra luna classic price is to be above that and we still have about 10 percent to go so if bitcoin keeps its momentum up that we're seeing right now we could see terra luna classic reclaim that range which would be a positive thing to take away from there obviously personally i would like terra luna classic to reclaim this 1.67 cents mark you know that is quite some uh, level of support built up around there and most importantly break above this uh, 19 cents level because we have not broken past that you know uh, um past that before the ftx collapse we can make the statement that february 4th we did see it go up but we never really managed uh, to stay above there so that would be a huge deciding factor for the price of terra luna classic now for us to get to that level and if we're looking at bitcoin guys bitcoin is making a beautiful bounce towards the upside you know when we were seeing a quite a massive sell-off towards the downside i did say you know we're in the oversold category and you know we could see a short squeeze happen and uh, obviously you know people starting to realize bitcoin is its own bank that could have a lot of people fomo in and obviously the banks uh, you know, the u.s um 
uh, feds came out and said they will be covering all the depositors at the you know silicon valley bank uh so that means you know that could pump the market we could see more money flow into crypto and i think that's what we're seeing and obviously you know people are starting to realize you know in this global uh crisis around the globe you know bitcoin is going to show what it was built for and it's the best opportunity for it to show what it's um, capable of doing and you guys can see you know we were creating a massive massive amounts of shorts around here and that has all been liquidated so that is one factor we do need to keep in mind as well and also you know our cme futures gap was around there also and we have filled that right now and we are once again bullish that fact that we are above twenty two thousand dollar bitcoin once again btc dominance on the other hand you guys can see it has been increasing uh, which means that people are more bullish on bitcoin right now and hence we are seeing bitcoin outperform the entire markets but now comes the question where is terra luna classics price going in the immediate short term like i said we need to be above this level of resistance at number one and then we will go from there you know so the question that i get every single time is terra luna classic when is it reaching a dollar you know that's the question that's literally on everyone's mind and you know we've seen thousands of videos come out on youtube people talking about terra luna classic hitting a dollar you know some people even saying it's going to reclaim its hundred dollar i wouldn't i would not say that it's possible to, for terra luna classic to hit that hundred dollar mark once again because looking at the overall circulation it's insanely high with that being said terra luna classic still can make massive gains reason being you know it's supported by binance and right now if you really think about it binance is the only exchange when it comes from centralized exchanges that are you know putting so much um you know support towards Terra luna classic community and its overall revival thing so let's say this bull market comes and more and more exchanges ramp this thing up and not only that you know make the burn rate higher and if every holder that holds Terra Luna Classic, I know everyone does not like burning their coins, it just hurts. But if you really want this to happen, you know, it has to be with a bigger magnitude. Basically, every single holder of Terra Luna Classic needs to be burning their tokens, maybe like, you know, a certain percentage of their tokens in order for the price to decrease. You know, we're going to be sitting here every single day talking about, oh, the you know, dollar, dollar, a dollar, uh, you know, when is the dollar going to be reached? I'm going to be keeping it quite frank with you guys. You guys know on my channel, we keep everything straightforward to the point. In order for that to happen, you know, the burn needs to be drastic. So the burn that we're currently sitting at, if we keep that burn rate, you know, it's not going to be done anytime soon. It's going to take years and years and years. But obviously, you know, one factor that we're still, um, you know, waiting on is that obviously more exchanges in the bull run can ramp on and, you know, start supporting this. And if the burn rate switches to a higher one and every holder really takes the initiative to be burning their Terra Luna Classic, this thing can make a massive statement for itself and that's what a lot of people underestimate and being supported by the biggest exchange is the biggest plus point that a lot of people forget but that is it for today's update i will t keep you guys covered if anything were to change but these are the current scenarios that are looking like for terra luna classic and i'll see you guys tomorrow it's been crypto zx and peace out